What's good, guys? This is a story that came out on the 8th, coming from Law and Crime in an article wrote by Colin Kombacher. I want to thank Marie722 for sending it to me. Two New Jersey men charged in connection with human corpse discovered in family's doghouse. Mm. Two New Jersey men have been arrested in connection with a dead human body discovered hidden inside a doghouse. Brian Cheetah Hackenbrook, 25, and Matthew R. Thomas, 27, stand accused of disturbing or desecrating human remains in the second degree over the body that was found over the 4th of July weekend. On July 3rd, right around noon, authorities received a call about a dead body that was discarded underneath the deck area of a home in Andover, New Jersey, according to the Andover Township Police Department. Upon arrival at the residence, officers were met by family members who informed them a body was left in a doghouse underneath the deck area. The detectives and officers began to check the area under the deck when they did indeed confirm a deceased body was contained within the doghouse. The scene was immediately secured, which included closing down portions of West Lakeview Road and Hilltop Road in order to process the scene, the department added. Members of the Sussex County Prosecutor's Office, Morris County Medical Examiner's Office, and the New Jersey State Police Crime Scene Unit were requested to the scene to assist. According to police, Cheetah, Hackenbrook, and Thomas left the area where the body had been dumped prior to the arrival of law enforcement and were actually the ones who phoned 911 dispatchers at the Sussex County 911 Communications Center. The family, which owned the property and the doghouse, were not charged and appear, by all accounts, to be completely uninvolved with the alleged criminal charade. It's unclear why their property was targeted, apparently at random, Area police agencies received a broadcast in the hopes that the duo's vehicle could quickly be located, but that effort failed. On July the 5th, 2021, a task force of detectives from the Andover Township Police and the Sussex County Prosecutor's Office received information about the whereabouts. Cheetah Hackenbrook and Thomas had allegedly found their way to Delaware, so Garden State law enforcement coordinated with the Delaware State Police who tracked the men down and arrested them without incident. The pair were booked into a Delaware correctional facility and the local police in New Jersey are currently awaiting their extradition. No foul play, however, is believed to have occurred in the head-shaking body disposal case. Just a lot of bad decisions. According to Andover Township Police, Cheetah Hackenbrook and Thomas Move the body of a dead Hapakong, New Jersey resident who died from a medical emergency in a long and winding effort to, for some reason, move them around quite a bit before dumping their corpse. Mm. First, police claim the two placed the victim in the trunk of a vehicle belonging to the victim. After that, they allegedly called a towing company to have the dead person's car moved all the way to Andover Township. There, the moving team allegedly took the body out of the trunk and put it in the street before finally leaving it under the deck within the doghouse where the body was later discovered. No motive has been offered as to why Cheetah Hackenbrook and Thomas may have gone through such an elaborate ritual. The investigation is ongoing into the details as to the removal of the deceased body. The department noted additional charges against both are pending following the completion of the investigation. I mean, what in the same hell is going on here? Now, that's the second person. I just did a vehicle or uh, video. I I'm thinking about the vehicle scene. They put this person inside of their own vehicle, called a tow truck to move the vehicle to Andover County, where they took the body out of the trunk and put him in the street, then ended up putting them in the doghouse. 
it, it just there's no words for this um but i was thinking about this is the second group uh the man in the story before this is waiting extradition from tennessee back to new jersey now these guys are waiting extradition back to new jersey what's going on people leave new jersey to commit crimes i, I don't understand this one this one is just bizarre absolutely bizarre and and the killing part about it excuse the pun is the guy died from an actual medical emergency they didn't kill him i'm telling you i've never seen anything so crazy i'm gonna end the story on that note guys thanks for watching